Located in southern Dalmatia, Komarna is Croatia's newest appellation. This scenic seaside region is dedicated to local varieties and organic farming. Join us and meet the pioneers of Komarna. It's all in the latest episode of Cracking Croatian Wine. Cheers! Cheers. It's a five-hour drive from Zagreb to Gradac, Croatia. This beach town in southern Dalmatia will serve as our base. Getting close to our house? Wow! It looks like we'll be comfortable at the seaside Villa Lavanda. Complete with a patio. Today I'll be doing a tour of our summer house. We'll be here for a couple of weeks. Yeah, we have a really nice garden with a few decks. Look at that. I love waking up in the morning, just sitting out here having a coffee. It rarely rains in Dalmatia during the summer, but tonight we're taking in this rare storm from the front porch. Optima Renicar set us up with a nice ride to enjoy the drive from Gratis to Camarna, which is scenic. Riesman! So Riesman, you have kind of taken offshoot, a little side road off the main road. I think when we came here last time it was rocky. It looks like they paved the road. Good job. Riesman is the pioneering winery of Camarna. Established in 2006, their winery offers sweeping views of the Adriatic Sea and the entire Appalachian. Cheers. Cheers. Proprietor Damir Stimats greets us and takes us through a wine pairing meal in his tasting room. Mussels yes, and pate. We've long been fans of Riesman's Poship, and the latest vintage doesn't disappoint. To me, it's one of the best Poship. It's just really defined flavors, a lot of freshness. But yeah, you've got a body that is cool but not heavy. And as I feel like what you just said, there's a very nice solidity on the finish. Whoa. Very happy with the potion. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Riesman's barrel fermented potion named Nona. We pair it with the octopus salad. Or Nona. <laughs> because I like it. I can drink it. <laughs> we take a quick pause to visit the cellar. St. Michael label is that uh, have two conditions. Uh, it should be from one plot of vineyard and one variety. Mm -hmm. This break is welcome, because next up are the reds from Riesmann paired with some dry-aged beef. Dry-aged? Ah, okay. Yeah, it's a ribeye and the rumsteak. Pink in the middle, just like Shireen likes it. It's paired with another excellent vintage of Riesmann Primus Plavets Mali. Typically you get this garlic, like oxidative style of flavor as well on Plavets Mali, whereas this moves towards more thyme. You know, it's savory herb, but fresh savory herb. You have a good impression of the fruit as well. It's not dry fruit, but fresh fruit. Damir tells us about Kamarna and what he sees for Riesmann. I think it's special that uh, all uh, new wine producers have organic production and this is the youngest wine region in uh, Croatia. I could say that all Riesmann wines uh, have one uh, elegant note. We want the identity of uh, variety and also of terroir, but uh, we are new school of uh, all, all uh, winemaking. Good wines, stellar views, and food pairing make this winery a can't miss. The distinctive Noretva Valley is right next to Kamarna. This oasis of water and green vegetation sticks out like a sore thumb in bone-dry Dalmatia. It's here that the Noretva River flows down from the mountains in Bosnia to the Adriatic Sea. The delta, known as Uchce Noretva, is a world-class windsurfing destination. We don't have time to indulge. Maybe next time. The next day, we head to another mainstay in the Comarna wine route, Terra Madre. This winery was established by three families who are business partners in agricultural equipment. Vedrana from one of the families meets us and shows us the cellar. Terra Madre has employed well-respected winemaker Marco Schumann. We have to make our style of Porsche, but not like Porsche. Serious. You cannot work serious wine per, per night. You need the time. Dragana, another member of the Terra Madre family, comes to greet us. She explains the history of all three families. Uh -huh. So they are uh, in business for 30 years. 
Oh, so you've yeah. always been like a business yeah. family friend. Yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. The terrace offers sweeping views of the Adriatic Sea, and we start the tasting. This vintage of the Poship Premium is crisp, delicious, and an affordable introduction to the variety. However, we're really impressed with the new Plavitz Mali Premium, which is the selection of the best grapes and... Mm -hmm. Better okay. I prefer premium. I like that. More structure. Yeah. And often when it comes to Komana, um, Plavitz Mali, I would expect a little bit more florality, which shows in this wine. It's got a little bit of a subtle rose note, and it's not bruised. Premium coming into one, two, and three years old in barrack, of course. Perfect. Better technology and better grape. It's uh, coming in the end better wine. It has a bit of Nebbiolo quality to it. It has the rosy, it has the sour cherry, it has the raspberry, and structurally for the tannins, it fills the mouth but it's not too astringent. It's firm and young but it's not too astringent at the same time. Perfect, thank you. Shireen usually does all of the cooking, so I'm going to do a little, give a little break today. I'm going to cook up a few classic uh, Dalmatian dishes. First up, we're going to cook some pekka. First up is cleaning the fish. It's time to clean and scale the fish. So it's all about uh, fresh seafood. But we're going to put paprika, lemon, rosemary from the garden, potatoes, onions. The last local touch is a little lime from the garden as well as rosemary from the garden. So it's a little casserole roast dish, we stick in the oven. We need a big meal because our friend is coming over. Master of Wine Joe Ahern produces small quantities of wine on the nearby island of Huar using native grapes. We find her latest vintage of Poship to be stunning. When I think about this, particularly this one where I talk about umaminess, right? It's actually like what you said, it's in the middle. It's kind of like miso soup quality, mm. like pop in the middle, <laughs> yeah. Where here the vineyard is actually is, is, is bigger and it's, a, and it's on slightly different terroir, but also slightly different ages. Mm -hmm. So I get the sort of, I pick earlier for higher acidity and maybe only 12% alcohol and citrusy like limes and melons yeah. from the younger part of the vineyard. And then the older part in the middle, which has got the richest soil, it's much more of the of, of, of the of the peaches and the melons type type thing. I really enjoyed the last time when we visited, but right now it really just came together in a way that it's such a complex wine. It's such an intentional wine. I'm actually super excited about it. So we're heading to Dia. I'm oh, sorry, Dak Winery, Vina Dak. It's one of the producers that I really know very little about. I had their poach up a couple months ago. It was pretty decent. So let's see. Vina Dak is a new producer, and their tasting room is a roadside stop overlooking Camarna. It's 35 degrees Celsius. I feel like a toaster. The stop offers splendid views of the Appalachian and the Adriatic Sea. We are met by one of the family members, Dino Diak. The Diak family runs several accommodation options, including a luxury villa in addition to more budget-friendly apartments. The property comes complete with fresh figs. Good. I like it when it's still a little bit green. Some of the properties are near the Diak vineyards, which are located right on the Adriatic. Real seaside vineyards. Very good shape and uh, in very good condition and we hope it will be the good year. Back up at the roadside stop, we sit down and taste with the family, including Dino's father Damir and his sister Masha, who is studying winemaking. The 2018 Poship grabs our attention once again. What I like about it is now that a lot of people are selling 2019, they are still selling 2018, which gains a lot of richness on the palate. I wouldn't say it's unctuous, but you have a heavier, creamier feel to it. And the nose is much more towards a tropical type. I think it tastes like a Southern Rhone white. I don't think it's as mineral as Southern Rhone, but there's a richness that is quite Southern Rhone, yeah. The Dirk olive oil is also delicious and made in tiny quantities. But here only 100 liters per year. It's spicy and bitter at the same time, so, but so spicy that it covers up the bitterness, so in a way it's balanced. Nearby is the Sveti Rocco vineyard of Saints Hills. This estate is aided by superstar French winemaking consultant Michel Roland. The winery is on nearby Pelyashats Peninsula, but today winemaker Antonia Carg agrees to meet us in Camarna. When we first met Antonia a few years ago, she was just working in a tasting room. 
Now she's in charge of the production. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is Plava. It's crazy Plava. She explains the difference between their two main sites for Plava Mali. Dingach and Pelyashats and Sveti Roko and Kamarna. What is the difference between the harvest date of Plava tea and the harvest date of Dingach? She harvests Dingach earlier than Kamarna. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe we, 10 days, 10 days okay. before. So Dingach is a more hotter climate with a different soil with the quartz and uh, less brown soil. And then Komarna is limestone with more cooler nights, uh, more wind windy nights and it can preserve better acidity in the grapes. Komarna is very young region still and the vineyards are very young. So maybe with the years we can also control better the tannins. In terms of the flavor profile and taste, um, what are the distinct differences in the Dingach and Plavat Mali from Komarna? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, definitely first uh, the acidity uh, that is uh, you can find more in uh, in Komarna, and then this um, we call it uh, like a garig, this Mediterranean uh, spices on the nose, uh, less maybe more red fruits, uh, less um, plums. Uh, like in Dingach, you find plums and uh, uh, jammy notes. Back at the Villa Lavanda, we run both their Plavet Smileys through the taste test. So I have Sveti Rocco on left, Dingach on the right. Sveti Rocco is more fruit driven and also lightly floral, whereas Dingach is typical Dingach, so you really get a very strong um, anchovy smell. In fact, it's, it's kind of like a savory really distinct smell but anyhow back to Dingach right it also has more of this very dry Mediterranean brush garlic smell to it yeah correct Roko is softer whereas Dingach has a, a more firm structure is Barolo de Barbaresco a fair comparison sort of both wines are excellent but this year's Dingach knocks our socks off the Dingach is so good this is young tannins, but it's not really astringent, and it sits so nicely on the mid palate. You see? There's some time in the day, so we soak up the sun before indulging in the beautiful Gradat sunset. The next day, we meet up with friend and wine lover Martina Milecevic to visit Volerovic Winery. The winery is headed up by Josip Volerovic. It's a new estate, and his family got started by running a greenhouse and nursery. When I was a kid, we have greenhouses, and I used to hate working in the greenhouses because they were so hot and humid. Josep is working on his PhD about Plavis Mali, and he explains why it's such a difficult grape. Uh, four type of berries in one, one bunch of grape. You have uh, green berries, what they give you lactic acid, <coughs> and you have uh, like uh, red berries. Mm -hmm. But it's not, they have usually more acidity than sugar. You have perfect berry and you have reasons. Like all the sites in Komarna, the Valerovich vineyards are impressive. Even though it's late August, Plavets Mali still hasn't completely turned color. These grapes over here are ripe, and then you can see some of these, they're still um, red, and then some green berries over here as well. Back in the winery, we get to revisit one of our favorite Valerovich wines, the Le Chic Rose. So it's very hard to make 100% uh, rosé made of Plavac Mali. The newest releases offer some surprises, like the fresh Poship and the Plavac Mali Gold Edition. Double tea tenant, just kind of all over the mouth. Fine, yeah, but it's not as stringent. Oh, yes. they're, they're like gold. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> now it's time to eat. The middle part is so moist. This is Brudetto. Two local specialties, frog and eel brodette and frog legs cooked with onion. It's very close to what we have in Singapore where we cook it with spring onion. Yeah. You like it? Imaginary blend of parada, chicken and pork. Somebody happy over there? When you don't talk too much, it's good. <laughs> After dinner, Yosef shows us some of his experiments. Plavitz Mali harvested at different dates with different maceration times. We love to see this curiosity, and it's much needed in Dalmatia, as Josip explains. We have everything good, but we need to work a lot for, for uh, that we can compete. If you're going abroad to the other country, very great people know about uh, 
Croatia, Croatian wine, but we have more than 130 autochthonic uh, variety, indigenous. So there is our our uh, our mission to get these all varieties to 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 the world. So. Well, it's that time of year. It's late August in uh, Dalmatia, Croatia. So we're going to get ready to harvest some grapes. It's hot in Dalmatia when poship ripens. So harvesting at night helps to preserve acidity and aroma. Oh, I love this acidity. Yum, yum, yum. It's been a long night. The grapes are all in the basket and we'll send them to the winery. Uh, we'll cool for a bit, a few hours and then we'll start processing the grapes tomorrow morning. We really love 2019 and 2020 looks good. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it will turn out. <laughs> Even though Camarda is a young region, it looks like it's in good hands. We've seen some old friends and met some new ones on this trip. We're always a little sad to leave Dalmatia, but we'll be back soon. Hello, thanks for watching. Hey, you made it to the end. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell so you know when new videos are out. If you like content like this, check out our Patreon page where you get some behind the scenes exclusive content. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.